7.14 on a cloudy, rainy, wind, wind, windy Wednesday morning. Wow. <laughs> Been a good day just to stay in bed with the covers pulled up over you. Yeah, man, right. <laughs> good day yeah, for sleeping. I, I can't, I can't, I can't sleep like that anymore. Used to, but those days are gone. So, how you been? Good to see you. Well, thank you, Dale. Uh, it's good to be here, and uh, it is raining out, and but it's coming down nice. Uh, I mean, slow rain, and mm-hmm. uh, uh, hopefully we'll get uh, a good rain, and this will move out by the weekend, and yep. we our holiday uh, we can enjoy you a believe holiday. It's July Fourth already. Well, it, yeah, it's uh, it's good. Uh, thank you for your prayer. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it's something. Uh, Where would that, we be without the veterans and those that gave their lives? Do we, do we, do we really understand that, Mayor? I, you know, you do. I mean, you you served. I served, and uh, I, it was an honor to serve. And uh, but the uh, the we'll never and disregarding me. I'm saying this for the other veterans, but uh, we'll never uh, give enough. Uh, tribute to them for what they've done to keep our country free and you know mm-hmm. and giving their lives and not only the veterans but the the wives the children the mothers and dads and grandparents uh you know mm-hmm. it's a it's a sacrifice that uh, i think if we don't see it it's out of out of sight and, and a lot of times out of our mind yeah but uh with fourth of july coming up and independence day here we need to all pay tribute to and and be thankful for what our veterans have done uh, to protect us and you know give us this freedom. Uh, That's right. It would be bad if we uh, wanted to go and and do something on Saturday and 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 we had restraints or you know well, we had to get permission. We had to yeah from the government to, office. Yeah. So. Hey, I'd like to go to the lake and and cook some hot dogs. Can I do that? Well, let's see. We have to get your permission slip for that. You know? Yeah. Same thing on Sunday. What you know? Do I get to go to church or you know? Do they choose a church for me? Uh, Boy, so, wow. <laughs> so freedoms is yeah. freedoms is is something that uh, it, it doesn't come cheap. It's been a lot of sacrifices from a lot of people, and uh, so I would encourage our people uh, when you see a veteran. Uh, you know, say thank you for your service. Uh, reach out and shake their hand, look them in the eye, yep. and uh, let them know that you appreciate them. And we'll never do enough of this, but, uh, you know, uh, the Avenue of Flags uh, reminds us uh, that. Yeah, pretty uh, down to courthouse. It, it, it's beautiful. And, again, things like this don't happen. Somebody has to make it happen. So uh, uh, thank you to uh, the the veterans and the organizations. Uh, you know, we have a, a great wealth of veterans here in 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 the county and the city and uh so and great organizations of veterans groups that uh promote and uh so big thank you out to all of them that uh that work on these things you bet thank a veteran today you bet uh we can't go wrong doing that now well dale uh i know uh this this last week we had an announcement that uh We'll call a little press conference, and you was there, and thank you for being there. Uh, Thanks for the invitation. The uh, it, we the announcement was about uh, uh, professional baseball coming to the Mountain Home area, and uh, you know, being the area that we are, and the the great uh, amount of time and effort and that that goes into our sports here, the, the you know from softball to well, starting with with T ball all the way mm-hmm, up, and mm-hmm. uh, our American Legion team, and we can see, uh, you know, we can see that we appreciate baseball in this area. I mean, baseball, mm-hmm. softball, we grow up with it, and uh, but I think this professional team coming is going to elevate it a little higher and add, uh, uh, you know, and would encourage people to track it and keep up with it, and when it's when it does happen here, and it should happen in uh, sometime later this month, and uh, I'm ready. I think it's going to be fun. Well, because I do Here's too. what I'm hoping, you know, and not to discount anything from football because I'm involved in some of the football programs too, but not every young person is geared for soccer or football or tennis or swimming, and perhaps baseball may be something. And maybe that'll generate a little bit of interest in some young people and get some more kids involved. Well, I think it will. You know, we have a, a we have a, a lots of fans here, a lot of Cardinal fans, Cub fans, White Sox fans. Uh, if we go south to the Texas, Texas Rangers, Rangers, Rangers and, uh, yeah, Texas, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but 
people spend a lot of money to go and, and maybe plan a trip. I know I, I think our church is taking some uh, uh, you, young people to Kansas City this week to see a ball game. There you go. So this will give us an opportunity to actually see at home without spending a, a lot of money. And uh, Mr. Hutchinson and Mr. Wilson, who was at the uh, interview and, and made the announcements, uh, they have already uh, signed 150 players. And uh, these are players that uh, that are trying to get into the pros or may have been there and got an injury and mm-hmm. in the recovery, you know. Uh, we, we'll, get to see some, uh, we'll get to see some exciting uh, baseball I think that, so. uh, at a higher level. And, uh, and, and we've talked about this a lot, but the impact of those teams coming here to Mountain Home, spending nights here in motels, eating at our restaurants, and they're following uh, you know, their yep. families are going to be following them. Uh, That's money in the bank, folks. It, it is. That's and, free money. Uh, and it's it's clean, and uh, and who knows where this is going because right now they, they form six teams. And, by the way, the uh, uh, Mountain Home will be the Mountain Home Black Bears. <laughs> uh, you and I know the rest of the story on that. But uh, as they was – I had put that online. People could listen to that press conference. <laughs> as they was coming in uh, uh, from uh, West Plains that day, uh, a black bear crossed the road in front of them and over between Gamay and, and, the, and uh, the lake. Yeah. And uh, – they said right then, well, this is a this is a sign. This we <laughs> got to be the Mountain Home Black Bears. So uh, anyway, uh, their their plans is to have these six teams this this uh, season and be playing in uh, West Plains and Branson and uh, Jonesboro, Harrison, uh, Springfield, or Lebanon. But next year, their plan is to expand it to six more teams and and have a and go actually go south and. So wow. Mountain Home could wind up being the being home base, hub. the yeah. hub here, yeah. and that's what we would like. If uh, Well, they if even it, checked into housing with one of the real estate companies, I believe. Well, you know, they have actually they have actually looked at the Creekside Apartments, and uh, they said those 64 apartments would be ideal for them. I've Creekside, been where's trying, Creekside? I can't think. That's on uh, Cardinal. That's under the condemnation. Uh, actually, it's going. Really? Uh, going to uh yes sir they have looked at it and think that uh that might be of course they've got if you stop and think about it, they've got 150 people men yeah and these young these men are basically in the age i think from 20 to 23 24 year old so uh they've got a lot of manpower there if they chose to do something like that yeah. and uh so we're we're keeping that open and and i uh, told them we've set up a meeting with our uh, uh code people and uh, see where it goes. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean. Would that mean a refurbish or a tear down and rebuild of that or what? No, it would mean a refurbish if, if they, the from they have experience from what I've uh, investing with uh, Mr. Hutchinson that, uh, and he is, they've actually been on site and looked at it and think it's, it's maybe feasible. So it's not a, you know. Wow. So it could, uh, it, it it could work uh, to our benefit in a lot of different ways, and and we're certainly keeping an open mind about this, and uh, uh, look at uh, uh, visiting further with them on on this issue. But uh, hmm. who knows where it's going? You know, interesting. So, wow. And this is something that uh, that uh, actually was not. It was unsolicited. I mean, as far as uh, they came in, so made sad. contact with the chamber, and uh, and. Uh, Chamber, uh, Bo Gregory gave me a call, and we set up a meeting and with the uh, with the uh, owners, and uh, so it turned out uh, turned out pretty good, actually. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Well, that may save the city a lot of money, and that demolition and the recovery of that money. Well, it could save the city. Uh, uh, you know, we don't look forward to doing it. It's something that needs to be done. Mm-hmm. If, if somebody can't take it and refurbish it and bring it up to standards, yeah. and, you know. And if you stop and look at it, the, those apartments, uh, it would not be like renting to uh, families with young kids or it wouldn't be with senior citizens. This would be an age group, so it could actually Let's put it this way. have the image of the a dorm. Mountain Home Police would not have to keep circling it all night long. <laughs> right, right. These people, uh, these are, uh, I think, are going to 
do it well, do yeah. their job, they're going to leave a good well, image in the community. I was impressed with the gentleman at the press conference because it yeah. seemed like before they even stepped foot in the courtroom that day, or the, the meeting room, they did their homework. They did. They did. And, and they uh, knew what to present. Uh, I was impressed with them. Yeah. I, uh, uh, anyway, uh, uh, folks out there in Radio Land, uh, uh, keep a keep tuned in, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll we'll try to keep you up to date on on the opening day and uh, their schedule. It's going to be fun. I'm it, looking forward to it. It will be. Yeah. It will be. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, the uh, well, we just had the red, white, and blue, and that has become a an annual event here in Mountain Home. And I would just like to thank all the, the workers that, that put this together. It was a multitude of people, and uh, they did a great job. I believe that their turnout uh, was may uh, be the best that really? they've ever well, had. The weather cooperated. Yes, and except for Friday night, we had a little blitz there. With uh, but uh, overall, it was it was a great uh, a great weekend. And uh, no, that right, that the rain canceled the parade. Yeah, that yes, that that happened. Other than that, I think everything went off good, and uh, the city uh, uh, was involved. I think every department we had was involved uh, one way or the, another with it in trying to be supportive of it, but. I want to thank the people that volunteered that is out there serving as volunteers and uh, making this thing happen. And uh, it's a great event, mm -hmm. well attended, and uh, I don't know of any problems that surfaced during the uh, actually three days. Well, you know, I think we're a people around here, Mayor, that uh, we're not out looking for trouble. We're just out looking to have a fun time with other folks. We do. Uh, you well, know, we're not and out I, here to stir the brew, so to speak. Well, we got a lot of good things going for us, and and we just want people to enjoy uh, events like this. Uh, be safe, keep our area clean while they're doing it, and uh, and yeah. peaceful. And uh, you know, you can't ask for any more than that. And I guarantee you, on the on the ASU campus, once everybody cleaned up, it was clean. It was clean. Uh, something that might have been overlooked might have been something that might have blown out of a. a canister or something like that but mm -hmm. you know it, it's not like going to a new york mets game where it takes them overnight to clean the stadium out you know it's no. just you know well we got good players and when uh i mean uh people you know conducting these and and uh and we want to leave our area where it's asu or, or downtown on the plaza or out on, on private property whatever we need to always try to leave it as good or better than we found it. And, uh, well, our people are proud of what we have. Yes. And we're going to take care of it. Well, we want people to take pride in, in their city and in their sure. uh, on their own property, uh, you know, their neighborhoods, their, mm -hmm. the parks, the, the whole areas. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a great uh, thing to be able to use this area, these areas, yeah. and, uh, and we just need to. Everybody does their part while then. We won't have any problems. I've got a, a, a friend of mine that's in San Antonio, Texas, listening in today. He says, can't wait for Black Bear Baseball. And he lives down around Evening <laughs> Chain. He's down in San Antonio. Thanks, Roger. <laughs> yeah. Well, keep tuned in, Roger. <laughs> Roger needs to come see me sometime have some coffee. <laughs> Black Bear uh, Baseball. That's yeah, he's a, listening in San Antonio this morning. Thanks, Roger. Hope you have a, have a safe trip down there. I think that would be BBBB, right? <laughs> yeah, Black Bear <laughs> Baseball. So, anyway, uh, we're excited. Uh, it's going to be good. A couple of things. Uh, the music on the square was moved to the uh, uh, ASU campus uh, uh -huh. last week. And uh, this week, due to uh, Friday being a holiday, uh, they will not be any music on the square. Uh, need uh, People need to uh, listen up on that. Uh, but we do have uh, Tina Gregory uh, does the scheduling, and uh, uh, she's the office manager and we have the the month schedule with uh, we thank good band so we encourage people to come out and to uh, and again you know if somebody wants to be a vendor or a sponsor uh, come uh, on out and come on out and uh, let us know uh, they could call four two five five one one six and we would be more than happy to talk get to get registered them. and check it out we've got about twenty seconds before we go to break. Well, twenty seconds is <laughs> not a lot of time. <laughs> not a lot of time, but. Uh, <laughs> I just, again, want to uh, say uh, thank you to our, our veterans out there and uh, wish them the very best on this uh, Independence Day. And uh, 
Let's all have a good uh, fourth. I, mean, uh, I enjoy be the fourth. safe. I you like know. the Fourth of July. It's yeah, we'll favorite. have a lot of visitors here, and so uh, and we want to welcome them. Uh, we do, and we want to all work together and uh, have a good time. You bet. Time for the news. More with Mayor right after this. We'll be right back. Seven thirty-six on a rainy day. July 1st, and our Mayor Joe Dillard's here. What do you got for us now? Well, Dale, thanks. Uh, yeah. Just kind of a, uh, a follow-up. Uh, we was talking about uh, the 4th, uh, the and uh, uh, we have a, an ordinance against shooting off any fireworks mm-hmm. inside the city. So I just want to remind people, uh, please be considerate. Uh, we're, we're jammed in pretty close, and uh, you may enjoy the fireworks, but you may disturb your neighbor or, you know, their uh, the whole neighborhood, actually, if it's. Yeah. Uh, and I know uh, we want to, uh, and we want people to enjoy, uh, but uh, there's a, you know, you need to move out into the uh, outside the city limits in order to uh, set your fireworks off. And uh, I just want people to be safe uh, and uh, and have a good time. But that's, that's just a reminder that... Uh, the uh we was talking about the creekside apartments yeah. before we oh, yeah. uh yeah they are uh, actually a court date has been set for the uh really? for, uh judge womack is going to hear that on july the 15th uh two uh, weeks from today so we're we're looking at two weeks from today and uh uh you know his decision will will determine what can or cannot be done with the apartments so uh, the city, as uh, Mr. Morgan, uh, city attorney, has brought everything up, and, and there's a legal process that we had to follow. And I know a lot of the people that live around those apartments, mm-hmm. are, uh, but the le- legal process had to take place. So it's it's going to be uh, on July the 15th. It, it will be uh, up before uh, Judge Womack. He will be the judge uh, uh, hearing the case. So, uh, uh, And as things happen we'll try to keep people informed as to uh hmm. you know once that decision's made uh then we will depending on what the decision is uh, that we'll take uh, we'll go from there with it uh one thing too i want to talk about uh the water and sewer department water department is installing new water meters mm-hmm. and they're a digital type meter and uh They'll be uh, once they're in place. Uh, I think we'll will be uh, uh, will be good. But right now, some of the meters uh, we've had some again lawn mowing and had the top clipped on uh, these little. It's a little cone type little and ante- the top of it, and so we just encourage people not to mow over these new meters until they know. Uh, take a good look at it and make sure they don't clip anything that, mm. uh, coming out of the top of the meter. Yeah. Uh, I think we've had about four incidents and, uh, and we're replacing them at no cost to the landowner. Uh, but once we get the word out and they will be a flyer coming out in the, uh, I think it will be coming out in July or August with the bills and, uh, asking people and explaining, you know, hmm. what, what to look yeah. for and, and what to do or not do, uh, we just uh, don't want to uh, damage these new meters. It's costly, and uh, yeah. if you clip that top, uh, and if a lawnmower is set real close, uh, depending on where the meter's set, you know, it could do damage to the meter and, and possibly to the lawnmower, too. So well, I've uh, seen one that was replaced. I thought they didn't they put it back in the recessed area? Some of them are recessed where they'll be fine, yeah. uh, and, and some of them were for whatever reason may be they may be uh above ground a little bit so right. that it, it, people could see it it's kind of the ones in between that uh we've got to right. be careful about and uh, just ask people to use common sense now this is going to save the city some money and having the guys walk from home to home to home reading meters well this these are really the state-of-the-art meters and uh, it'll save some time it will also be more accurate uh in the in the past we've had meters that probably uh read too much or not enough and so these new meters should get us on uh wow on course and uh and they're expensive uh you know to redo uh the numbers that we have seen them guys out there walking before and 
you know, sometimes in the snow and ice, you got to <laughs> figure out where the meter's at under four inches, five inches of snow. Well, it, it, exactly. So uh, it, it's, it's going to be a convenience, but uh, it was probably time the old meters had been there a long time, yeah. and some of them were. Uh, we were having problems. I'd like with to them. have a dollar for every gallon of water went past my meter. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah, wouldn't you? I'd take you out to dinner, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, uh, we're getting uh, upgrading the meters, and uh, and anytime you do something like this, there's going to be some little problems, uh, you know, uh, pop up until we get a, a handle on it. So we just encourage the people to uh, work with us and not uh, not mow until they know it's really safe to do so. Uh, the other uh, uh, thing is the uh, uh, we're we still got our street problem uh, projects going uh, over on Meadowbrook and on Sixteenth Street, and the completion date actually on Sixteenth Street uh, we're probably looking at another six to eight weeks. Uh, wow, that's going to be before school. That's we're trying to uh, Mr. Tilly and his crew are trying to. Get that in place so that it can actually be. And it's, if you hadn't it's seen it, it, it's a great street. Yeah. It's going and it's going to be a. And we redid uh, the on Sixteenth Street down at the curve. Uh, that uh, is awesome. Made a little island down yes. there and and uh, very good. I think it's uh it, and yeah. it's working good. It is. And, and you bet. actually, we've had a lot of compliments. And you know, the good thing is our street department is doing all that work in house. <laughs> without contracting it and uh, if we if it was being contracted then it would be a, a lot of additional cost so uh mr tilly is he does a good job out there uh taking care of the streets and and we got an engineer that actually works out of the street department works for the the city hmm. uh, uh whatever we need but she does a good job and so uh it's well, that was a well-designed junction right there, a redesign, I should say, because yeah, that was a yeah. hard turn. You know, it was just it was of, the way it was, yeah. and and by straightening the bridge out and where Sixteenth can yeah. go, you know, uh, uh, straight on, and it's good job. Uh, well, looks good. Uh, all that goes to uh, Mr. Tilly and uh, his crew because uh, they they do do good work. Uh, a couple of things uh, we've got coming up, and we talked about baseball, but this uh, weekend we've got a Cal Ripken tournament uh, at crystal willette mm -hmm. off of rossi road and that's for 10 and under and that's uh, uh billy said it will be friday saturday and sunday, sunday yep uh, then next weekend at keller uh we've got a state tournament and this is a girls uh eight years and under 10 and under and 12 and under and that'll be a uh, girls fast pitch uh Ooh, softball wow so uh we've got things uh you know we've got things uh in the making that uh that uh is going to be good for the area and also uh uh give our people an opportunity to go out and you know i hadn't seen girls that young uh fast pitch uh so i think what, I'm, what age was that well he said it was uh he said it was uh, uh eight and under uh in fast pitch in fast pitch wow. and 10 and under and 12 and under so there's actually three different uh categories and uh girls fast pitch softball so you know, uh, you get it in the those girls in their early twenties. They can actually sling that softball faster <laughs> than some of these major leaguers can in baseball. You know. Well, I I love watching that collegiate uh, yeah. uh, women's softball or uh, or men's. I, I mean, they take it serious. Oh yeah, I, they're out there to win. <laughs> yes, you know, they are. They've got that spirit going there. Uh, a couple of other things. Uh, uh, I know yesterday. Uh, we had a we made a decision to uh, we have a a uh, prisoner work program going on here in mountain home and this was actually implemented back uh, i believe in june of last year under mayor osmond and it's a great program what it the, what the program is is the we get prisoners uh from the calico rock uh, unit that come up and uh and work eight hours a day they're picked up early and taken back late, so they actually get in eight hours a day. We we provide the transportation to pick them up and to take them back to the prison. We've got a, a, a an employee that lives at Calico. He drives the van, uh, drops them off, takes the van home with him, and next morning picks them up and comes right back in. It it works really well. Uh, 
then we feed them lunch, and that is actually the only expense that the city is out. Uh, and those lunches average about six dollars a day, and it may be pizza or it may be, you know, whatever. Sure. It, but it's normally food that they wouldn't be probably getting at. I would uh, they appreciate if, that if they eat yeah. at the prison. So, but yesterday uh, we had we let a, a guy go uh, that had been working here, and he was actually well. Backing up a little bit, the the prison does the screening of these uh, inmates before they release them to mm-hmm. work at, in in Mountain Home, and uh, but there was an inmate working at the park that had uh, a background of uh, and it's in today's paper and uh, he actually I think was second degree murder uh, uh, shot a woman that was pregnant and four months pregnant. Anyway, we just don't feel comfortable with that category of people working uh, around the parks and around our youth and women. And uh, so uh, I talked to uh, Mr. Killian, who uh, is uh, over this program down at the uh, Calico Rock Unit, and uh, they will screen these people to send us nonviolent uh, Offenders, uh, workers. Yeah. That's the way uh, that uh, So I it was an oversight it, on the prison rather than the city? Well... I'm not th- I'm not blaming anybody. I just know that uh, these things uh, sometimes happen, but uh, we did not want that in the parks. Uh, to I agree. Know. So, uh, but it's a great program, and I know even the in in the uh, media today it, it explained all the work that they did at the new police station on the mm-hmm. old library, and yep. uh, this happened last year under Mayor Osmond and. He's the one, and he gets the credit for this. It's a great program. It, it not only helps the city, but it also, I think, uh, is good for the inmates to uh, learn a trade in some cases, you know, working at the, uh, at the different departments. With I agree. Or, or oh, it's a good water program. Water and sewer. Yeah. And, and I, we've had a lot of compliments from people uh, liking to see other uh, people coming back and, and, and doing work and some of their tax dollars returning in the form of work yep. you know so uh we don't want to see the program jeopardized i know uh they're reevaluating. uh mr magnus was instrumental in setting this program up and we just we just want to make sure we get good people and uh and uh and, and let them work and uh, from yeah. talking to uh, some of them uh, through the department heads these people would rather be here working than down uh, sitting you know, in a prison cell setting in they get fresh air they get to the exercise, exercise and just, and yeah, well, I think it's a good program. and different food so we'll, we'll see where this goes i just hope really hope that this don't jeopardize the uh the program that was set up it, it is a pilot project and but it's worked well now for a year uh it started in june last year so it's a little over a, a year old and that as far as i know this is the first incident incidents that we've had yeah uh, you know so Visiting with our mayor, Joe Dillard. Going to take a quick break. Be right back. 752. Closing out the program with our mayor, Joe Dillard. And uh, I I just got to say I appreciate our mayor, Joe Dillard. Good Christian man, strong faith, good family, doing a fine job for City Mountain Home. Thank you, Mayor. Well, Dale, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that uh, comment very much. And uh, to bring, uh, I guess, our our people up, uh, we've got a major project going on. And if you travel alone, 201 South or South College Street, uh, you'll notice a lot of barrels. You'll notice a lot really? of uh, some <laughs> stop and go. Uh, but Hallelujah. You know what? They're making progress. You betcha. Uh, they have moved. Uh, they, and they've done a lot of, moved a lot of dirt, put in a lot of uh, drainage pipe. And those big uh, pipe that they're putting in, of course, that's your under, underground drainage system. Yep. And uh, we require that inside the city. Uh, I mean, so that we get that water out of sight and off the roads as quickly as 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 we can. So uh, it's a it's a major it's a major project, and uh, but it's uh, but how good is it going to be? Well, you know what when when you look at what we had and how how close uh, what we had very little right away. They the state had to buy right away or work out right away in order to uh, improve the road. But uh, it'll be a three lane and. Uh, It'll it'll expedite the traffic going that way. And now, uh, will it change from 
at the junction of what we call College at 9th Street, just mm-hmm. by Tank Ray Insurance, okay? Right. Will that now be College Street and not Highway 201 South? Will that be well, remapped? I think once it's dedicated, uh, and I think the uh, the plans uh, is to, once this is constructed, that the city that will become a city street. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm 90% sure that because that's going to happen. My opinion would be Highway 201 South when you're coming from, say, the General Motors, the new Buick Ford dealership heading mm-hmm. towards town, mm-hmm. and you take the bypass, there should be a sign that says T.O., Highway 201 South, and point that direction so the tractor-trailer rigs right. will come in that direction rather than have to come in on in front of the old shed exactly. building being refurbished and well, down by Harold Tucker. We, m- my plan is to have that, that part that's under construction to be South College Street, once it's completed yeah. and, and dedicated back to the uh, city, yeah. uh, then, like you say, 201 would start. And and we don't want the big uh, uh, 18-wheelers. We don't want those big trucks in town unless it's absolutely a necessity. Yeah. And in some instances it is, but we don't want them cutting through yeah. on uh, on college or cardinal or uh, using – Coming off the bypass, come, yeah. sir. You when know? you see them come through, you know they'll be on the highway going south between Harold's Auto Parts and Town and Country, mm-hmm. going towards stoplight. If they have to make that right hand turn, that's almost impossible for some of them rigs. Well, it is. It is. And that and, way, they and, could get on the bypass yeah. and go. And I, unless they have, uh, you know, unless they've got business there, the because we got a, uh, and and we've got our signs up, and we mm-hmm. get calls on it, and and our police. Uh, We'll uh, we'll investigate uh, if they get a call, and if that truck is there illegally, uh, then they may very well get a ticket. We gabbed our way out of time here, Mayor. Are we out of time? <laughs> We're out of time, Dad Gummit. Well, <laughs> hey. I always appreciate it. I look forward to you coming in. It's always good to have you. Well, thank you, Dale. It's an honor to be here, and thank you uh, for what you're doing. You bet. And, and um, I hope to see you and other people on the, on the courthouse on Saturday. We'll be there at noon on Saturday by a flagpole. Come out and join us. That wraps it up. I appreciate our Mayor Joe Dillard for being here today. Have a great day, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow. Oh, let's see. Tomorrow, I think the governor's calling in at 730. Going to be talking with Governor Hutchinson. So that'll be uh, high profile. That'll be fun. See you you tomorrow.